and let's go to the gym. Good morning, welcome back to a new vlog and a new week. It's Monday, I started my week in the gym. Now it's time to go home, have a shower and breakfast. I had a shower and a delicious breakfast. I've been trying to reach a pediatrician the whole morning because we're still looking for one for our baby girl. But it's so hard to reach a doctor, especially on a Monday. <laughs> So I just wrote an email and asked if they take new um, babies. We haven't talked the whole last week. Not that much happened last week. Um, I really try to slow down a lot at the moment. Yesterday we got some more stuff ready for baby girl and now it feels like we are just waiting. And I really can't wait. And I especially also can't wait until the belly is already gone. Because it's slowly getting a little bit annoying. <laughs> kind of annoying. If you're pregnant, you know what I'm talking about. Let's say it like this. I'm very limited in almost everything. And it's Monday again. That means it's time to ship our double vintage packages. Because we had the last small drop this weekend because now the next weeks <laughs> i think the next one or two months we don't have a drop but you can still shop all pieces that are online and after that lots of new stuff is coming your way this is my outfit of the day Cozy, oversized, wearing almost the same stuff every day. Oh my god, guys, yesterday we tried our side bed for baby girl for the first time. Of course, we don't know yet if she prefers to sleep in in the side bed or prefers to sleep in our bed everything is okay that's why we bought the side bed secondhand so it was really cheap and especially the first days baby girl will sleep next to me <laughs> um, or maybe on me <laughs> and then we want to try to we want to try if she also likes to sleep in her own little bed and i got some questions this is super practical because it fits exactly for our bed frame so we can fix this in our frame then the bed is fixed the only problem is um, there is a little gap in between the bed but we will fix this with uh, with with the big pillow like this we have another one and then we fix this we already tried it yesterday and it's fixed and safe that's it and she already has her 
little bear it's a moony bear so cute another thing we got is this waterproof mattress topper because especially the first time when baby girl and I are spending all our time in bed there can happen some things we just bought a new mattress some weeks ago and that's why we decided to get this waterproof topper to um, make it a little bit safer and also I don't know if my water breaks and sometimes this happens at night or sometimes something else can happen as a pregnant woman and that's why we Okay, this was definitely more workout than my actual workout in the morning again. Whew. Hello, happy Tuesday. I started yesterday to pack my hospital bag, but unfortunately it's a little bit too small. So I started yesterday, but then I realized it's a little bit too small. Um, the bag is quite small if you see and now I think I will pack a, this bag for me and an extra little bag for the girl okay I didn't pack that much because I'm planning to go home directly after birth because I have a midwife who is um, visiting me every day after giving birth. I know this is only possible if everything goes well without complications, but I think positive. <laughs> this is baby girl's bag. I packed some birth clothes. Her soon to be favorite blanket. I packed two bodies, one long sleeve and one with short sleeves. Both of them are made of a mix of wool and silk. So just the good stuff for the newborn. Then I packed two pairs of socks. They are so cute, my mom made them. Then I packed two hats. This one was a hat from Cassian when he was a baby. So I thought this would be cute, this overall. I also packed another outfit. It's this knitted two set piece. It's a hair club. And last but not least, this overall for going home. And for me, two oversized t shirts, a white one. This one is already a old, an old one, so it can get dirty. Also, the black one, cozy pants, a tight shirt because. Maybe I prefer to wear something tight, I don't know yet. Then I packed this nursing sports bra. This is my only nursing bra. I just bought some of these. You can easily use them for nursing and I always wear them because I always hate these special nursing bras. I think this is a waste of money. <laughs> this sexy <laughs> pants. You will also get some of them in the hospital, but I thought I also bring my own. And I also have some underwear and some warm socks. Then I packed my camera because I want to make some Polaroids. Some snacks, bathroom stuff, but it's still in the bathroom. And that's it. That's everything I take to the hospital with me. Of course, my Mutter Kindbas. I don't know. It's the English word, but I also take this one with me. I'm ready to get to you.
I'm currently so addicted to this combination and I eat it almost every day since I did the what I eat in a day last week. The video went online I think three days ago and you have to try this combination, it's so good. I quickly did a little bit of food shopping. Two things. First of all, you know, I always do my brow and lash lift in Vienna. Uh, my favorite studio, oh my god, my favorite studio is Maintain Beauty and they are the only ones I trust with my eyebrows. And it's been a few months since I did my last brow lift. Yesterday I was at DM and I found this, a brow lift kit and due to the fact <laughs> that I will soon give birth, I thought it would be nice to look fresh the time after. That's why I bought it and I thought we will try this together. Okay, that's easy. Now I will give them a little brush. Now we use the brow lift glue. Bring the brows in the right direction we want. In the direction we want them. I think that's it. Now we use the brow perm. Now we have to wait um, six minutes. Time is over. Now we put this with a dry pad away. Step number two. Now we leave this for another four minutes. Time is over. Now we put it off with a wet pad. Mm, it turned out okay. They definitely look better after my appointment at Maintained Beauty, but we are not done yet. Because I also bought the brow color kit. When you are done with um, lifting them, you can color them. Oh. I have the color. Now I will leave it for two to three minutes because I want them um, a little bit lighter. Okay, this is the after. I really don't know if there is a big difference. <gasps> Maybe I have to leave the color a little bit longer next time. The brow lift is not really existing, but okay, we tried. By the way, another thing I'm thinking about is to cut my hair on my own. So if you're following me for a long time, you know I always had these kind of curtain bangs. Some days ago I woke up and I was like, maybe I cut them again. I just wanted to cut my hair and then all of a sudden our stroller arrived just in time. It's currently chaos here. <gasps> But I'm so happy and so reassured that the stroller and especially the car seat arrived in time. Guys, I will do it. I will cut my own bangs. I just watched the video how to do it and I will do it. I already 
did it. I always cut my, I, always, I most of the time cut my bangs on my own. <laughs> but I'm nervous, okay. You know what? It's just hair. They're growing again. We have to... Okay, I will put them in two parts. Otherwise, I don't see that much. Now I will cut them over here. I have to put you in the same way. Now we all have them in the same length. Okay, now we have bangs again. We're done. Oh my god, I did it. We will see if I will regret it or not. Maybe I took a little bit too much hair. Would be better if I would have done them like this. Okay, we did it why I'm like this. Beautiful, good morning. <laughs> Here I am with my self-cut curtain bangs. I am really looking forward to Pilates now because I didn't have a Pilates class in two weeks and today is the day and we finally and I finally have another one. last date night tonight and I'm really looking forward. Hello, a happy Saturday. It's already Saturday and I haven't started to cut this vlog yet because my um, Final Cut Pro is not working anymore and it's so annoying. So I don't know if this vlog will be on online in time. I don't think so. Anyway, I will still end this vlog over here. I also got the question how I will continue the next weeks. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know how life is with a newborn. <laughs> uh, the first time I will definitely take some time off and to get to know this little human and just um, heal. But I really enjoy what I do. So I think we will see each other very soon. I also don't know if this is already the last vlog. Maybe we see each other <laughs> again next week, maybe not. But yeah, I wish you all the best for next week and we see each other soon.